Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com with the update for Tuesday, November 26, 2019. Got a free pick coming up in a moment. First, a couple of quick notes. Note the change on this week's release time for college and pro football for the entire week. Instead of Thursday, because of Thanksgiving, it'll be on Wednesday. Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific. We'll have all of our plays, college football and the NFL for the upcoming week, including any Thursday games that we might be on. So again, mark that down. Our release time for this week's college and pro football slate Wednesday 6 p.m. Eastern 3 p.m. Pacific time you don't want to miss out 10 and 2 the last two weeks for us with the push and now going back five weeks 25 and 12 that is 68 percent winners up about $4,500 for $100 per unit betters over the last five weeks college of pro football we swept Sunday in the NFL cutting this video before kickoff on Monday Night Football now I've got a couple of people in my betting circle coming over and I know it's going to get kind of rowdy so I wanted to get this done uh, before for the Ravens and the Rams kick off. As far as everything else, hey man, if you're yet, or have not become a member, I should say yet, over at DocSports.com, still got a real cool way to give it a trial run. You click on the link below the video and you get yourself a free $60 account. Use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages at DocSports.com, which of course includes football or anybody else for that matter on the roster. Again, it's a free $60 account. It comes with a DocSports guarantee and it will be available right now. Just all you got to do to get set up click on the link below this video again red hot in football 25 and 12 with a couple of pushes over the past five weeks we were number one last year college of pro football combined and we've kicked it into gear over the last month plus so don't miss out on this week's card again wednesday at uh, 6 p.m eastern 3 p.m pacific i do have a seven unit and a six unit for this upcoming week college and pro football again don't miss out on all of that good stuff as far as basketball when uh, tuesday's plays will be posted at 1 p.m eastern in the nba if we do get involved in the nba be sure to check out uh, the page the my handicappers home page at docsports.com college basketball plenty of games will be out there and available at 11 30 a.m eastern 8 30 a.m pacific time so again red hot in the nhl uh, we've been tearing it up 47 and 27 uh, monday's game is yet to face off as we cut this a little bit early on Monday for Tuesday's card. Uh, but all that stuff available for Tuesday, normal times, NBA, college, basketball, NHL, Wednesday, of course, at 6 p.m. for college and pro football as we look to stay red hot and clobber the books, take some of their money once again. All right, listen, what we do every Tuesday, we're going to do it again until we get done with the NFL regular season. That is the weekly recap. So let's uh, put on the glasses. Let's get to it. These are not done in any particular order, just as I make notes watching the games on Sundays and of course research and stuff after the games are over. Of course the Buccaneers beat Atlanta 35 to 22. We had Tampa Bay as our top play on this week's NFL card. 13 point win and the cover as a dog despite a couple of more picks by Jameis Winston. Chris Godwin saved his tail on a couple of near misses including a touchdown pass where he saved him from what looked like an interception. Godwin's been outstanding for Tampa Bay this young kid. A couple of the touchdown catches over the weekend. Uh, listen as far as what Tampa Bay did 446 yards over seven yards per carry on the ground 446 yards total um, and again Atlanta just one for four in red zone efficiency one touchdown inside the red zone for them Bucks win Bucks are at the Jags this week Jags laying a point Falcons getting seven at home to the Saints on Thursday Thanksgiving Day we'll see if the Saints can exact some revenge Lions lose to the Washington Redskins 1916 the Lions were the most to bet uh, side ticket and uh, ticket wise and money wise as far as the percentages were concerned as of about a half hour before kickoff on Sunday Sunday morning. I didn't get involved with this game. I just don't want to lay points with Detroit on the road and even if they're playing the Skins and we saw why. By the way, the Skins only had 13 first downs. They had 230 yards on four yards per play. Uh, 0 for 2 red zone efficiency. Dwayne Haskins, not a very good game. Uh, 13 for 29, but he celebrated before the game was over as I'm sure you all saw taking selfies with fans. Jeff Driscoll, bad game. One touchdown pass, three picks. The Giants lose to Chicago 19-14, but the Giants got the cover uh, listen again teams on a six game losing streak a dog or a pick are now 39 and 13 against the spread 3 and 0 this season that's weeks 10 through 13 that situation works the bears only had 4.9 yards per play giants just 4.2 yards per play uh, Khalil Mack with his first sack since week 8 it was a big one as it forced a fumble deep in bears excuse me deep in giants territory jaguars in tennessee did battle 42 to 20 tennessee titans now four and one straight up with ryan Tannehill as 
the quarterback. The players are responding to him. He's making great decisions. He can run the football. He goes 14 for 18, 259 yards. Couple of touchdowns, no picks. Big day for A.J. Brown, by the way, for Tennessee. Uh, Tennessee, 471 yards on 9.1 yards per play. Whatever happened to that Jaguars defense after Jalen Ramsey moved west. Uh, but again, just a bad day for that Jaguars defense. Tennessee is getting two and a half at Indy this week. Interesting game there. Uh, Buffalo knocks off the Broncos 20 to three. This was a bit of a Joes versus pros. You had the pros on the Broncos. You had the public on Buffalo. The public got the money. Brandon Allen just 10 for 25, 82 yards, one interception for Denver. The Bills, they gained about 425 yards, 5.8 yards per play. Ran the heck out of the football, 244 yards rushing. And that allowed Josh Allen to be a game manager. And he had a 15 for 25 day, two touchdowns, one pick. By the way, over the last six games, Josh Allen has accounted for 14 touchdowns, 10 passing, four rushing, only one pick. Be interesting to see what they do this week. They travel to Dallas on Thursday, where they're getting six and a half to seven points. Cleveland beats the Dolphins 41 to 24. The Browns, seven yards per play on offense to four and a half yards per play for Miami. They ran the heck out of the football, 4.6 yards per carry, 147 yards. How about four touchdowns in five red zone trips? Chubb, 21 carries, 106 yards. Landry, 10 receptions, 148 yards. You remember how important Kareem Hunt was to the Kansas City Chiefs offense last year? Well, he's been now in or available to play three straight games for Cleveland. They've won all three. He's used quite often as a lead blocker, gets a handful of carries, but with him now in the backfield and also makes a few catches per game, with him in the backfield, this team's now 3-0. They've got a lead blocker when they want for Chubb maybe even kind of a decoy. And Chubb has 68 carries, 314 yards, 23 carries per game in those three games since uh, Kareem Hunt has been on the field for Cleveland. And Baker Mayfield in that time, they're 3-0, seven touchdown passes, only one pick. His previous eight games, Baker had seven touchdowns and 12 picks. So listen, we'll see if it keeps going. Pittsburgh with a big potential revenge spot this week at home. Uh, they are getting a point and a half to two from the Cleveland Browns. Uh, the the hapless Dolphins getting nine at home to Philly. Steelers beat Cincy 16 to 10. Mason Rudolph benched at halftime for Devlin Hodges. This is what they were going to do anyway. Hodges is considered to be the better quarterback. They like him a little bit more long term anyway. But he was weak though also. 5 for 11, 118 yards and a touchdown. Benny Snell, 98 yards, 21 carries. He hadn't seen action since week 8 because of injuries and had only 28 carries on the season. But again, he had 21 for 98 on Sunday against Cincy. Uh, both of these teams gained about 5 yards per play, but Pittsburgh had 17 more offensive plays. Pittsburgh, no touchdowns, four red zone trips in that one. Raiders lose to the Jets 34-3. We had the Jets on Sunday. Bad spot for Oakland, and they played badly. Uh, listen, they held, the Jets did, held the Raiders ground game in check, and if you do that, you put the onus of the offense completely almost on Derek Carr's shoulders. Uh, he did not have a good game. Jacobs, 10 carries for 34 yards, three straight wins uh, for the Jets now, but they have beaten the Giants, the Skins, and the bad spot for Oakland, so we kind of pumped the brakes a little bit on the Jets. They are laying three and a half on the road to Cincy, while the Raiders take on Kansas City. The Chiefs at home, nine and a half to 10 point favorite. Panthers lose to the Saints, 34 to 31, last second field goal. Saints, decent yardage advantage, 7.1 per play to 5.1 one per play for Carolina and they ran did the Saints for more than six and a half yards per carry they led by 14 at one point in the first half they led by 13 at one point in the second half but couldn't put Carolina away Kai Allen got back on track a bit three touchdowns uh, no interceptions Moore and McCaffrey did their damage for Carolina but for the Saints he had Thomas Cook Kamara combining for 25 receptions 248 yards two touchdowns the Carolina's defense got shelled and Joey Sly well he missed a 20 29-yard field goal attempt for Carolina with two minutes to go. He also missed two extra points. By the way, the Saints, they can clinch the division. Uh, NFC South with a win on Thursday. They're laying seven to Atlanta. That game in New Orleans. Excuse me, that game in Atlanta. Uh, the Panthers laying 10 uh, at home to the Skins. The Seahawks beat Philly 17 to nine, high winds, bad weather, no speed at wide receiver for Philly, and that was the recipe here for Philly not doing well. Philly had 23 first downs though to 14 for Seattle, but Seattle had six yards per play to about 4.8 per play for Philly. Uh, Seattle had 174 yards on 26 carries, big day for Rashad P uh, Penny. Russell Wilson was under constant pressure too, just like Carson Wentz. He just didn't make the same kind of mistakes. He was so-so though, uh, but the Seahawks get the win. They are laying three at 
home to Minnesota, Monday Night Football. And again, Philly lay a 9 or 10 at, on the road to Miami. Uh, Cowboys lose to New England 13 to 9. Jerry Jones finally grumbling a bit about the coaching. We'll see what happens over the next week or so. They better win this week. They're laying 6 and a half to 7 at home to the Buffalo Bills on Thursday. Better win for Jason's Gar Jason Garrett's sake, I should say. But listen, this Patriots defense is just of championship caliber. The offense isn't, but the defense is. And what they did was shut down the passing game of Dallas. Dak Prescott, 19 for 33, no touchdowns, one pick. And how about this Patriots defense on the season? They've, they've got 20 interceptions and have only allowed four touchdown passes. Another weak game for Tom Brady and the passing game, 17 of 37 for Brady. He has just five touchdown passes in his last six games. He has no deep threats. Uh, they really need to kill Harris, uh, excuse me, to kill Harry to step up uh, for this New England offense. He kind of did on Sunday. But boy, they just have no speed, no deep threats at wide receivers. Sony Michelle, nice game on the ground. Sunday night football, San Francisco 37, the Packers 8. And uh, we had San Francisco, which wrapped up an NFL sweep for us. They only had 16 first downs, but they averaged 7.5 yards per play. And that Niners defense held Green Bay to, how about this, 2.8 yards per play. Uh, San Francisco, 112 yards rushing, five yards per carry. Garoppolo, 14 for 20, 253, two touchdowns, no picks. Big game for George Kittle as he gets healthy, uh, but the defense held Rodgers to 20 of 33. 33 passes for Aaron Rodgers, 104 yards, one touchdown, no picks. Green Bay had just 198 yards total in the game, and again, just 2.8 per play. Packers laying six and a half at the Giants this week. San Francisco getting four and a half at Baltimore. That defense against Lamar Jackson, that's going to be a lot of fun to talk about and look forward to for this upcoming weekend. That's your recap for Week 12. We do the recaps every NFL Tuesday video. And uh, again, wanted to mention real quickly, NFL college football plays will be posted this week, Wednesday, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific time. And we will have our entire card for the week, Thursday through Monday, available then. 25 and 12 is our five-week run college and pro football combined. That's 68% against the Spurs. Spread. We're now on an 83 and 54, 61% NFL run. So don't miss out. Don't forget Tuesdays, NBA, NHL, and college basketball. Let's get to the free pick uh, for Tuesday. Mac action. And one more chance, I guess, to go against the Akron Zips, who finally, finally covered a game. Uh, not only are they winless on the season, going, what, 0-11, but they were winless until this past week against the spread. They had been 0-10, now 1-10. They got the cover in a straight-up loss to Miami, Ohio, but they played them close, but not this week. Ohio aiming for what would be their sixth win of the season. And we're looking at Ohio laying about four touchdowns there. I know it's a lot at Akron's as bad as it gets, folks. So free pick on Tuesday will be in college football, Mac action, Ohio Bobcats minus the big points, lay in the lumber with Ohio University, Frankie Solich and the gang from Athens. All right, that's going to do it for us for Tuesday's video. Hope you like these. I know they're a little bit long, uh, but that does allow us to be able to give those recaps every Tuesday in the NFL. If you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Sprites or DocSports.com. Let's put Tuesday in the win column right back here Wednesday by 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific.